Good morning. Called in a bit earlier today. Got some stuff on. Um, so, got a hard stop. Um, right, so yesterday I was at the point of basically getting the date um, placeholder working, including the optional calculations and optional formatting. Um, and so I'm doing little tests. Um, and I think yesterday, yeah, so we've got tests working there. If I do verbos to make sure it passes, yeah. Test expand body. There we go. So let's see what we've got. We need we need to do a few more tests here because uh, we've got all these different combinations of things going on. And before I I will I will commit. Um, let's see. We'll commit this soon and then work on the other bits, I think, just to save it off. Um, but yeah, let's do a few tests and then uh, save it. So to do more tests such as a negative, such as negative values and time, etc. That's quite, uh, yeah, we've got to do that. So <clears throat> now time's going to be an interesting one. Um, yeah, okay, so there's a couple of things here that I need to sort out. Um, at the moment, I'm testing expand body, which I know uses string format time, and I'm using it, and I'm testing it against a value that's using the same function. Um, and I know that there's issues with this because by default, um, if I were to use percent %x, which is the default value for this, um, we wouldn't, we would get month, day, year. So here I'm, instead of doing percent %x, I'm doing what I actually want um, and know that it's going to be wrong. Yeah, so we've got the test there. So um, I think I should switch to using normal go date formats here um, and then later on I think hmm see they've got I've got two minds about that not really, I shouldn't really be testing string format. That's a good point. Format time. Maybe I should just use what's there. The fact that it gives me the wrong thing is a problem with string f time. Yeah, maybe I should do that. So. Let's do that. I'm going to do that for the moment, and then I'm going to later on create different tests. So I'm going to do that, and that means that this should, in theory, be correct now. Because no matter the fact that it's actually giving me the wrong 
format is going to give me month, day, year. Um, I'm in the UK. I want day, month, year. Oops, and X. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah, passes. Okay, we'll do that. Um, right, so body. So we're testing when we pass in a particular format. And then a calculation. I should do here one which also includes time. Just to make sure. So let's do percent. Yeah, because I've got colons in here, and I need to be careful about that. Hours, minutes, and seconds. I believe that's right. So it says it's date, but I'm wanting the entire date time. Does the test, checks the format. Okay. Save, test, pass. Good stuff. Um, now start doing calculations. This is where it's going to get fun. So here we're adding, just adding a year, month, and day. Let's do this again. negatives and we'll just do we we'll do one two four just for the fun of it. So here we're doing minus one, minus one, minus two, minus four. Let's see if this works. Yep, cool. Okay, so far so good. Um, now comes time. Let's do some time stuff. So, what we can do think I'm going to duplicate the entire lot and then just update it a little bit because I want to do some sort of time based stuff So everything down here, and substitute at date for at time. I 
that should be just one per line. So we've got a macro now, which is time. And so that means the expected default format is percent X as a capital. That's the main test that we want to do here. If you use the word time instead of date, you just get by default the time. And then here we should, yeah, in theory, we can still do year, month, day and stuff like that if we want. It doesn't make any difference. So I'll leave that in. Um, and here I'll see same thing with time. Uh, now we start doing calculations. Um, and this is where we know we want to do more in the web, in the way of time calculations. Um, so what have I got as the minutes? Is it? That is a good point. Small, yeah, I'll say, okay. Now I'm in a second. Okay. So I want to do, well, we just keep the same format we do. How are hmm. lowercase hour minute second which is opposite to the actual formatty thing, I guess. Yeah. Not great planning there. Um, and now I want to just take this, I think. No, I don't. I want, yeah, I only want the time, I think. We'll keep that and we'll update that with that. Because that's what's changing. Um, so we're doing a format again, slightly different here. But now I've got to do a completely different calculation here. And I'm but we have to use the date add. And it's a duration. And time, time duration and a number. Okay. So we're doing plus one hour, minute, and second. So we're going to do um, do I really want to do it in line? Sure, maybe I should do this as. I'll try it. <clears throat> um, so time dot hour OK, 
could actually cheat a little bit here. For this one. <laughs> I can do something like this. So... Let's do... Yeah, actually, thinking about it, no, what I can do is, in theory, can I chain them? Yeah. So, add a time dot minute and then time dot second. There we go. That should work out. That'd be fun to see. And then um, here it's going to start getting a bit interesting. So again, I want to switch out this to just a time. Just for... Oh, about that. How I do? Let's type it. Uh, so it's hour, minute, second. And now I want to do Oop. My fingers have not woken up this morning. They're all over the place on the keyboard. So I actually want to do sub. Yeah. One year. Oh no, I don't want to do years. That's not what we're testing here. Um... Let's do, yeah, minute, no, hour. We've already done all the years and stuff. Uh, minutes and seconds. So we're doing negatives now. So we're going to do sub time dot hour. Then we're going to hopefully do, oh, why is that complaining? Oh. Oh, I just got to do ads, apparently. Even mentions it. So add. Oops. Minus one hour. Add. Time dot minute times minus duration Time dot duration, of course. I wonder why that wasn't auto completion. Auto completion? I don't know. I think I had too much sleep last night. For once. It's gone to my head. Right, time dot duration, and then I want 
two. And now I need to add yeah, time dot second multiplied by minus time duration four we're doing, aren't we? Yeah. Okay. That's it. All right. So we should have a whole bunch of interesting numbers coming out now. And we don't know. Fail. Okay. Oh, must have got a formatting thing wrong there. One, three, four. Oh, yeah. No. Yes. So what did I actually get then? Yeah, I got back today's date. Uh, so we want hours. Yeah. Yeah, no, hours. Minutes. Pass. Okay. So, one thing I like to do when we do these kind of things is muck things up a little bit. So, let's um, let's test it by up, upping that to five seconds. I just want to make sure that the time we get out is actually incorrect when I do that. Yeah. So that's correct. We've got an hour previous. Two minutes. Oh, I don't know about the seconds, but obviously that's the difference there. But, so that worked. That's good. That was that's the actual time. Changed. Good. Okay. Um, and then let's do another one where we are mucking about with dates just to make sure. Um, so that's time here. We've done plus years, blah, blah, blah. Let's make it expecting. No, making it two days ahead. So this should fail. And we're getting 2023, 03, which is another month. Um, and then another day. What was the test? I've put plus two. That's Weird. Okay. 
expect. Oh, <laughs> okay, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I was, for whatever reason, oh, yeah, yeah, okay. When I did that test, it was minus four, wasn't it? That's fine. Um, yeah, uh, I, I had it round. I was thinking that was the, the actual, but it's not. That's the expected, and that is the actual. Like, that's good. So that's added <laughs> another day. That's fine. I thought things were around the wrong way there. All right. Okay. So that... It's a good test of the date stuff. Um, I'm going to split this up. Because uh, it was easier to see where it's things going wrong then. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll take yeah. that there and then we'll do the same there yeah Took the wrong thing. All right. Okay. Oh, I didn't like that. What, what's going on there? Oh, yeah, yeah, I need the date stuff. Right, so there's no date in there. That's fine. That's one. That's that. The first actual as well. Okay. And then same here. We need DT equals time dot now. Got to do a first initialization. That should be it. Okay, save that off. Run it again, and we should have a bunch of stuff now. Yeah. 
So no placeholder, date placeholder, and time placeholder. All passing. Good, right. So I think we're good to just quickly save that off. Um, we do have a whole bunch of other things to do. I want to just, um, I mean, for starters, we haven't actually hooked up the expand to do anything yet. Um, but we're getting there. Uh, we've done the expand date. Good point, actually. I've been calling the wrong function, really. I've been calling this one. which is a composite one. I'll leave it for the moment. Um, and then I can always Go deeper if I need to later. We are basically doing expanded stuff here. Okay, um, right, I'm going to save that off as um, expand date working, I think. Now what I do we've got some other things to do here. So we've got expand cursor. That should be fairly quick and simple. So what we need to do is something like take that out now. Guess we're really just doing a very simple this. I'll have a look at the VAR code in a minute, that port, that port in. But as we are in theory, getting substring split on the placeholder delimiter really just looking to make sure does this is this substring the placeholder for cursor so it might be as simple as
see how that works. That means the cursor return is going to be changing. So let's do some tests on that then. Uh, we will take How much are we going to take? We're going to take this, I think. So yeah, so I'm going to I'm going to be doing expand body again because I want to see what happens um with the cursor offset. Um so and that's depending on what we pass in. So we're going to pass in here. Well, let's do nothing first, let's say cursor here and that's exactly what we expect back Okay, so expect actual the same and the cursor should be at minus one because it doesn't change if there's no cursor. And then we just know to just let the cursor go to the end of the expansion. Cursor place how to pass. So now we want to start mucking about with it. So let's do let's do plain. It is just the cursor, which is a weird one. You wouldn't do this, but you never know. Someone might. So we expect nothing back because it should just disappear the cursor. So the text, the placeholder. Um, and it should be a zero as the offset. believe because there's no length we'll see Wait. seven uh, okay that'd be wrong Hmm. Yes. Okay. 
is the result we should get the length of. Because we're going to just throw away the delimiter placeholder Well, delimiter is thrown away anyway, um, unless exp unless escaped. I have to think about that later. Um, but yeah, placeholder. We're just going to throw it away. So that should be result because we've got us find the result from previous expansions. Put the cursor here carry on okay I bet if I look at the um, Vala code that's what we do right let's check that oh no why do they do that okay 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 stuff Yeah, um, so we're doing cursor result dot length. Yep, yeah. okay. So we're doing the result. Otherwise, we add the result. So the substring to the result. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> so that's fine. That's what I want. Let's do. Let's do some tests then. So we've got that, but we want to put it in some text somewhere. So let's say um, the cursor should be here. with all text to line. So the cursor should be, take that out, and we've got zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. Twenty-six. It goes after the twenty-sixth think in that case yeah so yeah we'll see twenty seven Oh yeah, because yeah, yeah. it's on the, it's before the twenty-seven, which is the twenty-seventh. 
take the length yeah and then it goes there we'll see but when we actually get the expansion <laughs> when we actually get the actual when the expansion is up and running, we will see whether that's right or wrong, but it should be okay. And um, that's how it worked before. So that should now pass. Good. Okay. Um, and now I want to do some, a couple of little sneakies with it. So let's try mucking about by We'll add in some dates and things. Now this will be fun. And then I've got to work out the numbers. So today at date And we'll have today. Oh, I'll do it. I'll do a different format. So I'll do Oh, I'm gonna have to insert that in a second. Um the cursor should be here. Do DT format um, O two O one two thousand and six. And apparently I need to escape that. Is that right? Okay. How do I do? That doesn't look right. Why is that? So that's okay, but why can't I do them in go? Right. Give me some yellow reasony stuff. Don't give me yellow dots and not give me a thingy. So that's passing in.
Hmm. Okay, well, we'll see what happens in a minute. Um, so now I've got to work it out. How many is that? I should say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's handy. How many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, I'm less. Okay. Um, so we've added, in theory, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, I think. Let's we'll see. See what we get. Oh, of course, string of time ran the wrong way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Got to fix that. Got to fix that at some point. Um, so let's uh, put it in a format then. Um, what's my format? So my format is percent D capital, I think. Is that right? No. Lowercase. And then percent M. Oh. Yeah, no, no. This is what I want, so this is what I'm going to put in. That's right not using percent %x, uh, so yeah, so I could do this, and I could do percent big y, okay. Let's give it a go, pass, yay, all right, that's good. So we've shown that expansion doesn't affect it. Um, so this, this lump of text here, which is going to change length. So, um, compared to this just here, doesn't affect, oh sorry, does affect where this goes here, because it's added another 20, because we've got all this, we've added anyway, but then this, that's cool. All right, um, I think that's cursor placeholder done. Neat, okay. Oh, I'm kind of running out of time. I need to go in a minute. Save it. Okay. Yeah, I probably should finish now. I think I don't really think I've got time to get started on anything else before I need to go to go out so yeah uh, let's do quick one couple of tests just to make sure things are up and running so let's do make clean and then we'll do a make and we've got problems 
Oh, yeah, of course we do. We haven't done all the bits and bobs. So let's do make clean, make tidy. I've changed some of the dependencies, so I need to get them to sort themselves out. All right, now let's see if it works. Cool. Okay. I'm going to make test. Let's do verbose. What passed and what didn't? Everything passed. Good. Getting there. Um, so we've got a whole bunch of stuff to. Yeah, we do. Okay. I'm going to do them. Okay. So in theory, that should all be off and building now. Yeah, so those ones failed because they didn't have the dependencies. You couldn't do a make. Um, and hopefully they will pass very soon. Don't take long. Anyway, we will leave them again, um, and I best be off. So um, thanks for watching, um, and until next time, take care.